Hi friends, this is Nitin Kulkarni from Xmetric Solutions Private Limited and welcome to the F5 Big IP LTM configuration series. Today's lab is based on uh, providing files to the F5 technical support and troubleshooting with Big IP iHealth utility. Uh, many times whenever we open a case with uh, F5 uh, technical support we need to send a lot of technical files like QKView, TCP dump and um, the backup configuration backup like uh, UCS file. So let us see how uh, we can collect these files and how we can send it to the F5 uh, technical support. So here is the uh, lab setup, a simple lab setup. This is F5 uh, LTM box. This is the management PC and there are some virtual servers some virtual um, uh, virtual servers uh, has been configured there are few pools are associated with them some internal IP VLAN uh, internal VLAN external VLAN and few configuration is there now our job is to uh, collect suppose if we open a case with F5 a technical support case uh, with F5 we need to send lot of uh, details to the F5 so uh, FI technical support may require uh, diagnostic files to help resolve the technical support issues and we need to upload uh, files like uh, QKView diagnostic file. So we are going to see how to collect the QKView file uh, and, uh, and then how we can upload or download the files from by using the dropbox.f5.com. So dropbox.f5.com uh, is the server uh, where we can put the files by using FTP or uh, HTTP. Now uploading QKWave diagnostic files to the big IP iHealth. So we can upload QKWave output uh, uh, diagnostic output to the big IP iHealth uh, website uh, which can um, which can troubleshoot uh, the QKWave uh, file and can give a lot of outputs that what is the performance, uh, what are the logs, what are the errors and many things so we are going to see uh, you know how we can directly upload this file to the big IP I health and how we can troubleshoot the problem but before that we will see uh, how we can uh, download the file uh, QKV file from the configuration utility that is GUI and how we can upload this file to the F5 so uh, the dropbox.fi.com site is widely available uh, for file repository for exchanging incoming and outgoing uh, outgoing diagnostic files with the FI support team. Now FI Dropbox, uh, dropbox.fi.com also supports HTTP, FTP and SFTP for transferring the files to and from the FI web server. Now when we open a case uh, with uh, F5, we get a case number. So um, access to the dropbox.fi.com site is associated with an uh, open support ticket number with a syntax of say C123456 uh, which is a ticket number generated while opening the case. Now the username provided to the dropbox.fi.com site is the ticket number and the password provided is an email address of a user associated with the ticket. For example, if uh, I have opened a case uh, with F5 uh, so nitin.k at training.com uh, by using this email id so it will become my password and if you open a ticket and the ticket number received is c123456 now the username will become c123456 and password is nitin.k at training.com to log into the dropbox.fi.com and uh, once we logged in we can put the files or we can get the files from the dropbox.fi.com now uh, let us jump into uh, the configuration. Uh, the first thing we are going to do is how we can take the uh, QKV backup and how we can upload it to the dropbox.fi.com. So HTTPS 192.168.10.245 IP address the uh, management IP of the F5 uh, LTM box. Username admin. Password is admin. Now we can see here there are some. Uh, profiles has been configured there are some virtual servers pools so uh, configuration is there in the box and suppose if you are uh, facing some issues and uh, we have opened a case with uh, f5 technical support team so just go to the system click on the software and uh, okay let me delete this file which is already uh, created quick view uh, so if you want uh, to capture the new file definitely we need to delete this file and we need to create a fresh QKV uh, diagnostic file 
Now I want to capture the QK view diagnostic file. Click on the QK view under the system support and you can start to collecting this. It will take some time, a couple of minutes to uh, capture this QK view file. Okay, here is the QK view output is ready. So download this snapshot, uh, snapshot file, QK view and uh, we can save this file say uh, let me save it to the c colon okay case underscore number underscore uh, support so we can say case underscore number uh, say underscore say one two three four five six underscore support underscore file dot tar zz save it to the c colon yes now our file is ready so this is a uh, QK view uh, support file which we need to send it to the Dropbox dot f5 dot com. So log into the drop uh, so log into the Dropbox uh, dot f5 dot com. So we can do the FTP to the Dropbox dot f5 dot com user will be as discussed it will be a case number so c123456 and password will be your email id so nitin k at the rate training dot com enter so i logged into the ftp uh, to the dropbox ftp uh, server now from here uh, i want to put the file to the dropbox dot com uh, let us copy the name of the file F2 copy then from here put okay so uh, let us put uh, this file uh, to the dropbox.fi.com put and the file name enter yes it is copied you can see the ls and uh, here it is the case underscore number one two three four five six support underscore file so this file has been uh, you know copied to the dropbox dot f5 dot com so just a quick review how to upload a file to the dropbox dot f5 dot com from the f5 device or the workstation uh, containing the required files uh, we have done ftp to the dropbox dot f5 dot com Username is the ticket number, password is the email ID associated with that ticket number. Then uh, enter the binary mode. Upload the requested file by using uh, the following command put the name of the file. Now, if you want to download the file from the Dropbox, uh, uh, use the following syntax get and the full uh, path to the file. For example, get outgoing slash if there is a hotfix, hotfix slash 1234. Once we are done, just quit uh, from the FTP. Now uh, we can upload the files to the dropbox.fi.com by performing uh, one of the following three uh, procedures. So by using the FTP which we already seen. Also you can use the HTTP uh, to put the files. Mm, also uh, you can use the SFTP to put the files to the dropbox.fi.com. If you want to uh, download the files you can use FTP and SFTP to uh, download the files or some hotfixes from the dropbox.fi.com. Now we'll see how we can upload directly QKV uh, diagnostic file to the Big IP iHealth uh, utility. So uh, this Big IP iHealth allows uh, us to quickly diagnose the health and proper operation of uh, Big IP system. One of the best diagnostic utility uh, which gives you uh, the output in a graphical uh, manner. So the Big IP iHealth website you will uh, get it onto uh, get. Um, into this URL http colon slash slash www.fi.com slash services slash customer dash support slash iHealth. So let's, uh, let us log into the iHealth website. So here is the here is the big IP iHealth enables us to verify the proper operation of our big IP system and ensures uh, our hardware and software functions at peak efficiency. So to log into this big IP uh, iHealth.fi.com utility, just click on the iHealth dot fi dot com now here is the iHealth uh, utility uh, you need to log in with your credentials 
uh, if you are not registered with F5 uh, site, please get registered, create your own username and password and then you can log into the big IP I health. Now there is an option, upload a QQ file, click on the upload and select your file. So here is our file case number, so this is a QQ file, click on the upload, the upload will take uh, a couple of minutes. So uh, just wait for some time. Yes, here it is. Now upload is in progress and yes, here is the output from the big IP I health utility. You can see uh, the results, there are three high uh, 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 errors are there uh, with a high, uh, what do you say? Then there are three medium category results, uh, two low, one information. Uh, the recommendation is upgrade to the version 11.0.0.0 or higher as existing version is uh, 10.1.0 and you can see there is a case number, generation date and you can find all the big IP config now if you want to see the big ip.conf file yes click on that and you will get uh, the existing configuration of the uh, big IP big IP underscore base dot conf so here is the big IP underscore base dot conf uh, here is the big IP dot conf here is the full configuration then uh, this is the status you can check the hardware details um, summary uh, you can see the software details then you can go to the network you can see all the virtual addresses which are configured into the box you can go into the details uh, okay 100 100 100 111 this is virtual server and there are two virtual servers are configured on this IP 80 and 443 again if you want you can go into the detail which pool is attached which virtual server profiles are attached what I rules are configured on this so uh, you can click on pools, pool members, you can see all the pool members here alright and then you can see the commands uh, you can see the graphs, uh, system CPU usage right 30 days, 7 days uh, then RAM cache, uh, cache utilization, HTTP request, SL transaction diagnostic, you can see the critical uh, errors Okay, if there is any uh, problem it will get published here if there are any critical uh, diagnostic res results are there so so many things and here are the files if you want to take the config files logs etc yeah, et uh, whatever they are into the etc directory if you want all the files to capture you can capture so uh, this is one of the lovely uh, uh, loveliest utility and one of the best diagnostic uh, utility available uh, you can use your uh, you can use your QK view uh, file and you can directly upload into the big IP I health and you can do troubleshooting on your own thanks for uh, viewing this video and uh, I request you to visit www.xmetricsolutions.com and please feel free to give your valuable feedbacks and suggestions thank you